What up, what up? Will here with the Baseball Bat Bros. And today, we got the other side of the Sweet 16 for One Piece Alloy, BB Core Bat Madness. Let's get it. All right, fellas, so last time, you saw the Stinger Nuke, Easton B5, Victus Vandal, and Marucci Cat 9 move on to the Elite Eight in the left side of our Sweet 16. And today, we are moving on over to this side. So we're gonna try to get our Elite Eight in in the next couple days here. Uh, we're just gonna do two of these matchups today though. So we're gonna have the Axe Elite One, tons of juice against the Root American Moab Power Optimized. And we're gonna have the Fuse 360 XL version end load and the Rawlings 5150, a really underrated bat for a good price. And then in our next video, we're gonna have the Goods in the Omaha and the Voodoo One and the Moab Speed. But for now guys, we're getting it here. First up, Root American Moab Power, the blue version and the Axe Elite One Piece right there. Let's get it. All right, fellas, so if you don't know the rules, Bat Madness, we got two bats facing off against each other. We're each gonna take like a 15, 20 swing round. We've already swung all these bats already. We're just putting them head to head now. You're only gonna see like three of these swings. We're gonna do a two out of three vote. The winner moves on. Root American Moab, Axe Elite One, let's go. All right, fellas, first up, we got the Axe, the Axe Elite One. Uh, the Axe bats, again, have these really funky handles. They basically claim that the only way you can get around the BB Core standard is by adjusting the handle, changing the leverage, and this can actually get you a little more bat speed than a typical bat with this type of end load would have. This is super end loaded, but the way this handle is engineered, uh, ideally is going to give you a little bit more bat speed, a little bit more whip, so it doesn't actually feel as heavy as it really is. So uh, a lot of people just have a hard time getting over that. So just to make sure we give this thing a fair shot, we're going to take a full round before we actually get into the bat madness swings, just so we can kind of get used to this here. Watch that still go. This thing's heat, man. Way out. Dude, I'm telling you, the Axley one has so much juice. You're gonna choose the axe bet. You think so? Yep. Oh. I don't know. That's kind of a knuckler though. First swing, I kinda I piece to that. You'll find with the axe bat, just cause you get a little more whip than you will with a regular handle, you'll roll over in a lot of your initial swings. It takes a lot of getting used to, then you'll start to hit frickin' nukes. Yeah, baby. Goodbye. Woo! Really good, right? Wow. Oh, yeah. Way out. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Let's go. Bro! Oh, are you that was, that's one of the better ones I've seen you hit. Damn. I'm telling you, that is sneaky power. I'm not sure what happened there. Like a lot of sneaky power. Ooh. Sign them up. Shit. Sign them up. It doesn't even sound good either. No. It sounds awful. What just happened right there? All right, pretty impressive showing there uh, by the Axe Bat. But now we got, guys, honestly, the bat that I think you're all sleeping on, the Moab. Thing is gas. Honestly, these swing so much like the Cat 9. Super, super similar. This is the kind of heavy power optimized version. It's a log. The red one's going to be a lot lighter swinging, but well, this thing's going to hit some nukes, I think. I know what you're choosing. Immediate. I know no, what you're no. choosing. That was, that came off so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. Nice. Wow. Nice. Big sweet spot. Yeah. It's jumping off the barrel way harder. It's jumping off the barrel so hard. It's just hard to get it through the zone, man. Oh, later. Not that one, bro. Oh, wow! That one went really far. My ears are ringing from how loud these are. Oh, yeah! Woo! Pretty deep. 
Nice. All right, last one. Pretty deep. It's kind of tough, huh? It's tough. That's a, this is a close matchup. All right, voting time. Re guys, this is a good one. This is a very close one. I will say after swinging both of these, these are two of the most end loaded and the most power optimized BB cores I've come across. Heavy as hell and an easy 10 on the power scale, honestly, in my opinion. These things hit nukes, but they're gonna be like a two or a three uh, on, on the swing weight scale. Hard to swing, it's gonna be real, like, even for me, I had a hard time, especially getting that one around. But uh, voting time, guys. The Axe Elite One and the Moab Power. Do you guys have your votes? Yes. yes. Cam, you know for sure? Yep. All right, I'm nervous, man. Okay, so we'll say Axe or Moab. Three, two, one, Moab. Axe. Oh! oh! Outvoted, throw it, throw it! Oh. The handle might be delicate. <laughs> yeah. All right, Will taking his second career Bat Badness L. Tough. You guys have beat me twice now. Um, but the Moab, moving on against the Axelite one. Guys, honestly, like a tough matchup, a uh, tough first round matchup in the Sweet 16 for the Axe bat. Uh, these are both really good bats. Uh, these both honestly probably deserve to be in the Elite Eight, but guys, one piece alloy bats is a damn competitive space. These are both very good bats, both bat bro approved in my opinion. But uh, let's talk about it, guys. Uh, why did you think the Moab beats out the Axelite one? Trace, let's go with you first, man. Well, like you said, it's the same swing weight, but it really just comes down to the handle. That's yeah. really what it is. I, I think if, if this had the same handle and knob, it would be the same bat, on my opinion. Yeah. But for me, that's why this took it, is just the, the handle. Absolutely. And, and like, sometimes fans get bugged because, like, oh, you guys just picked against the axe bat because of the handle. But, I mean, like, guys, it's, it's our opinion. Like, what are you going to do? That's just what Trace thinks. Yeah, he's he's well, not – yeah, like, so <laughs> I don't know what you want from us. Yeah, yeah, they're, well, they're, it's not paying. Yeah, we're not getting paid by Moab. We're not getting paid by Axe Bat. All right, Cam, and why'd you go with the Moab over the Axe, man? I mean, everything that Trace said, but the Moab just way bigger sweet spot. It, I, in my opinion, it wasn't even close. Yeah, dude, like, the, the sweet spot is stupid. It was huge. On like, the Moab. About the same, but the sweet spot was massive. It was yeah. like almost hybrid level. It was, yeah. It was crazy. Uh, and then for me, like, I felt like, you know, if you were to probably put these on, like, uh, a swing weight measurement thing and measure them out. I would assume they're probably pretty similar. This was very end loaded. I do think though, so I got, I, I'm honestly kind of a fan of the ax handle. I thought this helped me whip a heavy bat through the zone better than this. So personally, I was just able to barrel up more balls with the ax bat than the Moab. I just wasn't able to control this quite well enough. And I felt like the pop was honestly kind of the same. So that's why I went with the ax bat. I do think this probably had a better sweet spot though. I kind of agree with Cam there. Just, I, I got to the ball a lot better with the ax bat, but I'll take the L. I mean, this is a, this is a really good bat. Uh, like I'm not even mad about it. So, all right, good matchup. And the Moab Power is going to move on to the Elite Eight. It will face the winner of the 5150 and the Fuse 360 XL. Guys, honestly, I'm pretty bummed out to see the Axe Elite 1 go out so early. Probably deserves to fit into the uh, Elite Eight somewhere. It's a really solid bat. Honestly, Bat Bro approved. It's going to be one of the highest Bat Bro scale scores uh, to exit in the Sweet 16. Uh, th that's a solid bat, guys. If, if you're a big fan of that Axe handle, I honestly think this one has the most juice out of all of them. Here's its Bat Bro scale rating. So the Moab moves on and next up to find out who's gonna face it, we got the Rawlings 5150. You can find that thing for like under $200 right now. Fantastic option for the price. And the Fuse 360 XL, that honestly might be our favorite Easton of the year. It hits tanks. This is gonna be a fun matchup, boys. Let's do it. Alrighty, first up, we got the Easton Fuse 360 XL. Like the entire UCLA lineup uses this thing. Uh, I had an just unconscious round uh, when I swung this thing in our video where we uh, where we debuted it. Top of your screen right now. Um, really solid bat. Honestly, one of my favorite Eastons of the year. Uh, let's try this out. First swing. Get out. Wall ball. All right. Huh. Ooh. It's peace. There I go. Gone. 
Ball ball. All right. Oh, baby, that smacked the wall. Oh, Whoa. what? That was Pete. That's out. Oh, yeah. It's got juice, I told you. I died. I, uh... Wall ball, huh? I'm kind of having a hard time getting it out with this. Oh! Wow! Whoa. Oh, that's gone. That a boy, ma'am. Jeez. Whoa, pretty nice. good, pretty good. Didn't go too far there, though. No. Alrighty, now we got the Rawlings 5150. Guys, you can literally cop this thing for like $180 right now. I don't like a lot of the Rawlings bats, but I do like this one. Really solid bat, big sweet spot. Let's try this out. Two good bats here, honestly. Oh man! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh yeah. That was a big bomb. This is heavier, but oh, it whips. I mean, that bat whips. It whips, bro. The, and the handle's so thin. I love that. Yeah, dude, I, I agree. Watch that get out of here. That's way gone. That's, That's way gone. That's way gone. What? <laughs> oh, buddy. Woo! Light pull. Pull shot. Let's go. I've been saying it forever. Y'all are sleeping on the 5150. Mm. Oh, Staying up there. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> this thing, Damn. This crazy. Woo. One more, one more. Oh, you oh, one more. I'll just take one more. That was mad. Swings three dongs. <laughs> The Sweet 16 of One Piece is just a gauntlet. You can't tell me that the, the XL's the good. Is That's best, good too. They're both they're both really good. No, 5150 might win, but the XL's still a good bat. Oh my goodness. Let's go. That was a hell of a round. I wonder what I'm choosing. With the 5150. We might have a clean sweep here, boys. All right, fellas, last vote of the day. We got to get out of this freaking smoke. Probably not very good for us. The Rawlings 5150 in the Easton Fuse 360 XL. It will say Rawlings or we'll say Fuse. Cool. How about that? Cool. All right, you guys got your answers for sure. Uh -huh. I think we might have a sweep here, boys. Three, two, one, Rawlings. Rawlings. Damn. The 5150 taking it. Guys, I'm telling you. I, I've been saying it for so long. The 5150 is slept on. It's $180 right now, and it is a damn good bat. Hits nukes, awesome thin handle, and a fatty sweet spot. Uh, Trace, what, uh, what do you think, man? Why'd you pick the 5150? Huge sweet spot. Yeah, swing huge way, sweet spot. Way better. Yeah. I mean, just watching it from the side, everyone's in watching it there. Everyone's swing is just way more smooth. I know, bro. I felt like that bat was just a little more clunky, honestly. Yeah, like if you're going to have a big and loaded bat, like in my opinion, and it feels like you guys agree, like even Cam, who likes more of a thick handle, like if you're gonna have a big and loaded bat, a thin handle is the way to go. Yeah. Cam, even you agree, man? Yeah, this bat smoked it. Yeah, it it's just, close. dude, big sweet spot, as much juice, probably even more juice, honestly. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, I thought I had way more juice. Yeah, definitely deserve the dub. Yeah, all right. 51.50. All right, guys. So, honestly, I probably think this is an upset. I haven't seen the Batbro fan voting yet because, you know, obviously we film this way before we edit. But if I were to guess, I would assume most of you guys are going to vote for the Fuse 360 XL. But the 51.50, guys, I'm telling you, y'all were sleeping on it. This was the clear winner. It's still a really good bat, though. But, I mean, the 51.50 is solid. Tons of pop big sweet spot it is moving on it's gonna face the moab power in the elite eight that's gonna be a really fun one and fellas the fuse 360 xl a really solid bat but it is getting sent home here's our bat bro scale on it And there you go, fellas, 10 remain. In our next video, we're gonna have the Omaha Power, the 33 super end loaded version against the Goods One Piece, one that you guys are really hyping up. You guys really think that one's gonna make it far, but don't sleep on the Omaha. That's a really good bat. And then we're gonna have the Moab Speed, the red version against the Voodoo One to see who our last two Elite Eight entrants are. We got one spot left. Who's gonna make it? Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you next time.